Good morning Year 4, it's Miss Oldell here and we are going to learn how to multiply three numbers together. So when I say that I'm talking about questions that look a little bit like this. So we have three numbers and we want to multiply them all together. I can get a little bit tricky. So what I do to make it a little bit easier is to start off just look at the first two digits of the question. And in this question, that's just three times four. So that's all I'm going to worry about to start with. If you can't do three times four in your head, it's absolutely fine. I like to build an array, so that's what we can do. So we got, we've got we got three times four. One, two, three, and we need four lots of three. And when we build an array to find the answer, we can count all the counters up together to find the total, or you can count in the multiple. So to count them all up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, or count in the multiple, 4, 8, 12. So the product of 3 times 4 is 12. And when I, I've written it just next to the array to help me remember it. So we've sorted out the first part of the question. We know what three times four is, it's 12. So now let's look at the next bit of the question. So three times four times two. So we need two lots of three times four. I've got one lot, so let's do the next lot. Three times four, one, two, three. And we know that the total number of counters here is exactly the same as this one, because it's the same thing, it's 3 times 4, so this one's 12. If you want to count it to check, that's okay, we've got 4, 8, 12. So now we have 3 times 4, we've got 3 times 4, 2 times. So to find the answer, to find the product, we could count all of our counters together to find the total, or, we already know the to total of this group, this um, array, is 12. And the total of this array is 12 too. So we could just add those together. 2 add 2, 4, and add 1, 2. So the answer to 3 times 4 times 2, 3 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2, is 24. That was a bit of an easy one. So let's try something a little trickier this time because we're really confident with our three, our four and our two times table. So let's have a look at something with maybe the seven times table in it to give us a bit of a challenge. So how about five times seven times three? Again, a question like this can look a little bit intimidating. So, break it down into easy steps. Let's just start with 5 times 7. Oh, we've gone out of focus. There we go. So, let's just start with 5 times 7 to start with this question. Because we can all do 5 times 7 as an array. 5. Because it's 5 counters, 7 times. Five lots, three lots of five, three lots of five, four lots of five, five lots of five, six lots of five, seven lots of five. And I'm just going to count my row and my column just to make sure I've got the right number. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I've got the right number going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got the right number going across. And again, if you want to count them all to find the total, that's okay. If you want to count in the multiple going down, you can do that. But there's another way you can do it. You can also count in this multiple here. So this would be counting in sevens, and this would be counting in fives. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I'm just going to write the product 
the total of 5 times 7 here to remind me what it is. Okay, well, we've done the easy bit, 5 times 7. So, let's have a look at what we need to do next. 5 times 7, we now need to multiply that by 3. So we need this 3 times. So that's 1 time, 5 times 7, 2 times, 5 times 7, 3 times. And to speed things up a little bit, I don't have to build this array again because I already know what the product, the answer of 5 times 7 is. We've already worked that out. It's 35. So this array here would also be 35 and this array here would also be 35. So 5 times 7 three times one two three three times so now we just need to find the total and if you have built your array three times you could count all your counters but that's going to take quite a long time so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add them together 35 add 35 add 35 5, 10, add 5, 15, 3 add 3, 6, add 3, 9, add 1, 10. And then we don't have anything in the hundreds column to add, so we've just got this 1 that we carried over. So, I've got the answer 105. So, 5 times 7 times 3 is 105. 5 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 3 is equal to 105. Let's do one more together. So, let's have a go at... Oh, I know this is 4AO's favourite time table times table it's the 11 times table let's do 11 times ooh, 8 times 1 so let's break this one down 11 times 8 I know lots of you are already really confident with your 11 times table because you've spotted the pattern we've got 1 times 11 is 11 2 times 11 is 22 3 times 11 is 33 so I'm sure you all know already that 11 times 8, you can build the array if you want to, but I'm sure lots of you already know that 11 times 8 is 88. And if it is one you find tricky, just think back to yesterday where we did the 11s and the 12 times table. So think about what methods you used yesterday to help you with the 11 times table. So we've done the first part, 11 times 8. Now let's look at the last bit, times 1. So we only need 11 times 8 one time. So we've just got 88. So even questions that to start with can look really tricky working with the 8 times table, Sometimes big numbers like 11 can make people feel a bit worried. This one was actually a really easy one. I hope that my lesson, my video lesson, has helped explain a little bit how to multiply three numbers together. So now I would like you to have a go at the worksheet that I've uploaded and if you get stuck on any questions, get some objects, maybe some buttons, some coins, or even a piece of paper that you've ripped into squares and build an array. Or draw it like I did on this whiteboard. I am looking forward to seeing your work when you upload it. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.